Hello and welcome to another part in this series, Getting from Where You Are to Growing Your Full Potential. Do you have a sense of direction? Do you know that in order to grow, you must know yourself, you must know your strengths, you must know your weaknesses, you must know what excites you, what, what is it that drains your energy personally or at work. You should know your interests, your opportunities, and most importantly, the relationships that have been placed around you and how they affect you, how they help you or hinder you. I heard someone once say that you have four kinds of people in your life. People that multiply you, there are people that add to you, and there are people that actually subtract from you, and there are people that divide in your life. You need to be able to discern who those people are. You need to know yourself better. And measuring where you have been as well as where you currently are is crucial to getting or growing to your full potential. It's kind of like finding your place on a map. In my recent trip to Greece, to Leptokaria and at the foot of the Olympus Mountains just next to Dion where Alexander the Great used to like to spend a lot of time, on my trip to Greece, there was such beautiful scenery I was able to enjoy. But do you know that if I did not have a GPS to guide me in Greece, it would not have been such an, an enjoyable trip. I actually had two GF GPSs. I had one which is the Sigic GPS. And of course, I had my Google Maps just as a backup, just in case. Or maybe if you've ever been to Ikea in Sofia or anywhere else, you see that there's maps placed at strategic points in the store that tells you, you are here now. And you're able to see where you've been and you're able to see where you are right now. So it's important to be able to measure where you have been. And it's important to be able to measure where you are headed. Now, in order to grow to your full potential, you need to know yourself. And to know yourself, it's interesting that you also need to grow, right, in knowing yourself. So one is dependent on the other. And I'm also saying that you need to be able to measure where you have been as well as where you currently are to be able to see how far you are from where you need to be. Now, in determining direction for your life and growing to your full potential, I've noticed that there are three groups of people. The three groups of people I've learned about. The first group of people are people who don't know what they would like to do. If you are in this group, you may be feeling confused or overwhelmed by activity. Your, your life is a flurry of activities or things going on during the week. Or maybe the opposite. You may be feeling paralyzed or feeling afraid of taking steps to do anything. And as a result, you know, you get de uh, disillusioned and you don't know what you should do or what you would really like to do. Here, people lack a strong sense of purpose. In this group, they, you know, these are kind of people that they can watch every video, buy every course, register and, and volunteer for everything, right? They have calls from friends or calls from different people to get involved in all kinds of things, right? And, and they may decide to get involved with this, get involved with this, get involved with everything. But at the end of the week, they seem to have either been so busy, but never made real progress or they didn't do anything at all because they were overwhelmed by trying to do too many things. I said in my book, if I can just focus, five keys to sanity and success, there will always be more good ideas than there is capacity to execute. People in this group that don't know what they would like to do, they drift and float and usually switch from one career or one job to the other, sometimes thinking they are making progress, but they're basically just moving around either for slightly higher pay or because they still don't know what they would like to do and they're still experimenting and trying over and over. You actually have some people having, earlier on in their careers, they could have a CV that's five pages long just for a single year of employment because they kept switching from one place to the other. This is people that don't know what they would like to do. In order for you to know what you would like to do or what you should be doing in life, it's important that you grow, and that's one of the purposes of this video, to help you grow and help you better understand yourself. Like I said in the previous videos, what is it that causes the most energy for you? What, is it, what are the thoughts, the dreams, the ideas that have kept coming back to you that you have consistently ignored and refused to pay attention to? What is the fear that is holding you back? What would you attempt to do if it was impossible to fail 
and if money was not an issue? These are some of the questions that will help you get out of not knowing what you would like to do. And of course, it's good to listen to people like me or other people that you may have as mentors who could help you to grow into realizing what your full potential is. That's the first group, people who don't know what they would like to do. Okay, the second group of people I've learned about is people who know what they would like to do, but they don't do it. Like I've said before, the greatest gap in life as I learned from John Maxwell, is the action gap. It's not a problem most of the time with people not knowing what to do, but it's in people taking action to actually do those things. I remember one of my clients in the past, the leader of the team actually said at the end of our meetings, okay, what are the action points? That's a very powerful statement. What am I supposed to do now with what I actually know? So a lot of people also know what they would like to do, but they don't do it. Why would, why would that be the case? Sometimes it's due to past limiting mindsets. Sometimes it's due to fear, fear of taking the next step, fear of the unknown. And like I said in the previous parts of this series, which I encourage you to watch, in one of them I talked about playing out the movie in your mind, looking back and seeing where am I going to be in the next five years if I don't take this step now? The answer is you will still be in the same place. So there are people who know what they would like to do, but they don't want to do it either because of fear or because they get lazy or because they become disillusioned or they develop some kind of apathy or maybe they've tried several times and they fail. Well, the truth is this. You will still be the same person in the next five years other than the people you know and other than the books you read or how you develop your mind. You see, I cannot change your life until I change the way you think. And you cannot change your life until you change what you hear. That's why I love bringing these words of inspiration and encouragement to you to help you change your thinking and to help you move to a higher place. That's the second group. Okay, the third group of people is people who know what they would like to do and they do it. I'm an example of such a person. I know what I would like to do. I like to speak, and I'm speaking. I like to train people, and I train. I like to consult, and I consult people. I like to grow leaders and teams. I'm growing leaders and teams. I like to write, and I'm a writer, and I'm writing. I love to do all these things, and I'm doing them, and I, I aim to spend most of my time and to focus my attention on the things that matter most and on the things that give me the greatest results. You see, like I said earlier on, energy is a divine signal. You know, Somebody told me once there's things I was excited about one year ago, but I'm not excited about them anymore. If it is really your life goal, if it is really something that is your calling, your talent, your destiny, the desire keeps coming back. The energy keeps growing. And sometimes certain goals could be seasonal. Your goals could change because of seasons. Somebody gets unemployed or loses their job, all of a sudden they have a goal to get a job. Someone goes on a new job, starts training, all of a sudden their goal is to learn everything they're being taught and to become good at their job within the next six months. Those are seasonal goals that could change. But I'm talking about permanent motivation that comes from within, an inexhaustible reservoir of motivation that is connected to your life goals. These things never go away and they never change with seasons. So that's the third group of people, people that know what they would like to do and do it. But one last thing is in these three groups, whether it's people that don't know what they would like to do or people that know what they would like to do and don't do it or people that know what they would like to do and do it, we need to watch for the trap of becoming just goal conscious. If you're goal conscious, when you achieve that goal, you tend to plateau. But if you are growth conscious, you keep achieving goals. And that's the importance of discovering your life goals and growing to your full potential. I'll see you next time. Please remember to subscribe to these videos if you haven't already. Check out my books on Amazon, Kindle, or you could access any of the other courses that I'll be making available on my website. I wish you grew to your full potential. And once again, your future is bright.